New Haven won the Southern Thumb title in four of the next nine years, including 1936 and in 1941, when they were led by Johnny Balterra. Now what can I tell you about Johnny, except he was probably the, the, the most all-around athlete in my class. He was fast and uh, he was a very good athlete. Uh, he made a lot of good runs for us, I remember that very well. Good quarterback. I passed to him, reverse pass, I passed to him. That was we got to do good. Because we was kids, we done the same thing, passed each other. Now he was a good quarterback, he was a smart guy. He could really run that team. It wasn't very big, because most of the guys were too big and back in those days. There were three Speedlock boys, and Walter was the one who was the most active, and uh, he played in sports. And, and uh, whatever Walter was a very fine football player also. He's smart, he's smart quarterback, really smart. In fact, he was so smart the coach would let him call all the plays. He played in the backfield the last, our last seniors. Uh, he was good too. He ran good. At that time, he was tall. He was like a giant. But most of the guys were kind of weren't too tall, not like they are today. They would have to be 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, Debut, he in boy. Tall, lanky. He was a big man, you know. He was six foot or more, and great big man, and what have you. And, uh, and Walter was a very good football player. He was very active, and um, uh, uh, we played both offense and defense. I remember that very well. I remember that Walter and I competed for the position we were, we ended up playing between center and left guard, and what have you. The two of us ended up between those two positions. John was, uh, he was a back and he was, he was fast and he was a pretty good, he was a good, pretty good uh, ball player. John Lee was an excellent, he was a superb athlete. Good football player, good baseball player. But the good bass, he made all-star teams and everything. John was really a good player. He was a, a little on the small side too, along with myself and what have you. And, uh, and I remember he was very aggressive, he was very active. Um, I remember him primarily as a, as a defensive player. Well, what a coach. He was the best coach you could ever want. Big redhead, red uh, kind of tall. He get out on the floor in the basketball court and play with us. Rough. Good football coach, too. Well, he was quite a guy. <laughs> I remember Bernard very well. In fact, I think the one picture that I have of him that shows him standing on the end of the line or whatever, he was a he was a he was a disciplinarian. He 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 understood the principles of football very well, and uh, he he actually got in and then scrimmage with us and everything what have you. And, and he ended up getting hit a few times because we were taking some of our frustrations out on him and, <laughs> and what have you. But uh, I remember him very well. He I I I enjoyed. Uh, playing Wonder But at that time he didn't have buses, so we'd get he always had a little car. I think it was the last time he bought it was a convertible. And we used to pile in cars and go from town to town and play. You know, like go to Alma, Cape Back, uh, Armada, uh, and then that Brown City and then Memphis. We used to pile up in cars because some of the some of the guys that uh, classmates were their folks had a car but they'd drive their car and we load up in the cars and go from town to town and play.